Hey, this is Brad Wolf with Organolon, and today we're going to be talking about two of the most difficult weeds to control in a lawn, wild violet and wild strawberries. Wild violet is a heart-shaped plant, which usually has a small lavender or blue flower, but sometimes that flower can be white and even yellow. Wild violet is a perennial weed that spreads via seed or roots called rhizomes. Wild violets tend to grow in shaded areas, and they love compacted soils but it isn't uncommon to see them growing in other areas of the lawn. Because wild violets love growing in compacted soils, aeration is actually a very effective tool in treating and preventing wild violet from spreading in a lawn. Wild strawberries are a very small looking strawberry plant, and sometimes there's a little red fruit that grows on it, and this fruit is inedible. Similar to wild violets, Wild strawberries also thrive in moist and compacted soils. Watering according to the 12321 lawn watering technique will not get rid of the wild strawberries in a lawn, but it will slow their encroachment. Both wild strawberries and wild violets have a thick and waxy protective outer layer. This waxy protective coating makes these weeds extremely difficult to control. Most chemical weed controls won't kill these plants, so if chemicals won't control them, how are we going to be able to control them organically? Here at Organolon, we have discovered that applying our all-organic weed killer called One Earth Weed Control is extremely effective at controlling both wild strawberries and wild violets. One Earth Weed Control is made from a special form of iron that kills weeds by overloading the plant with nutrients. Sort of like a nitrogen burn, but with iron. What we have observed after a single treatment of One Earth Weed Control is that the leaves of the weeds will show signs of discoloration and browning, but the weeds typically won't die from just one treatment. However, we have found that a second application applied seven to 10 days after the first application is extremely effective in controlling the weeds, especially if the application is performed in early spring when the weeds are still young and actively growing. Back-to-back -back applications of One Earth Weed Control applied seven to 10 days apart will usually do the trick. But if the weed is very stubborn or it is later in the year, a third application might be necessary. In general, weed controls work best on young, actively growing weeds in moist soils. They're less effective on more mature, older weeds or drought-stressed weeds. To improve the efficacy of the weed control, we recommend watering the lawn 12 to 24 hours prior to the application of One Earth Weed Control, and again, 12 to 24 hours after the application is completed. Hopefully, you don't have wild strawberries or wild violet growing in your lawn, but if you do, there is a very effective organic option to control these difficult weeds. To learn more about One Earth Weed Control and how to kill stubborn weeds without chemicals, please visit Organolawn.com. <music>